How is facial recognition related to the structural features in a molecule? Earlier, we looked at how acids react with bases in acid-base reactions. Now we will extend those reactivity principles to other reactions. One objective of this course is to predict the product of a reaction. At which atom or bond will a reaction occur to make product? Another objective of this course is to explain how a reaction occurs with a reaction mechanism. So what is the order in which bonds break and forms in which squalene is converted to lanosterol? If you have never seen a reaction before, you can make an educated guess using your knowledge of reactivity principles to predict the product of a reaction. Even winemakers make educated guesses. Another objective of this course is to synthesize a big compound from a small compound. What do you need to know to solve a synthesis problem? Most organic reactions are polar reactions and equilibrium reactions. A polar reaction means electron pairs are involved when bonds break and bonds form. An acid-base reaction is an example of a polar reaction. Other types of polar reactions are addition reactions, substitution reactions, and elimination reactions. We will look at these types of organic reactions in this course. In each reaction type, a nucleophile, or Lewis base, reacts with an electrophile, a Lewis acid. If we can recognize and identify the structural features in a molecule, we can predict how an organic reaction occurs. We will want to identify the nucleophile, or base, and the electrophile, or acid, and then use a curved arrow from the nucleophile to electrophile to show how bonds break and bonds form. This table shows the different terms and two examples of nucleophiles and electrophiles. Remember that a Lewis base is an electron pair donor and a Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor. This table shows the different types of nucleophiles and electrophiles which we will look at in this course. We'll look at the other types of nucleophiles and electrophiles in the second semester of organic chemistry. You may want to keep this table handy to help you identify the structural features in a molecule and help, help you determine how a reaction occurs. Let's review some structure and bonding principles. Stop the video and answer these questions. And the answers are, so this bond has the biggest difference in electronegativity, which means that the carbon has a partial positive charge and the Br has a partial negative charge. That carbon with the partial positive charge is an electrophile, and it's also called the alpha carbon, is involved in substitution reactions, which we will look at later on in this course. The carbon adjacent to the alpha carbon is called the beta carbon. An H bonded to that beta carbon is involved in elimination reactions, which we will also look at later on in this course. This table shows the functional groups and structural features in that functional group that we will look at in this course. It also shows various reactants which react with these functional groups. So stop the video and fill in this column and that column. The answers are, 